Hi everybody, it's Kara, and I have several small hauls I'm going to share with you. I did some Black Friday shopping. I tried to be good and not get too much. There were just a few little things here and there that I couldn't resist. And then I did pick up just a few things here in town. I want to give you guys two warnings in advance before I get started. One is I have some new lighting that I'm kind of trying to get used to, and I'm noticing there's a lot more glare on the packages, so I'm going to have to kind of figure out how to deal with that. And then the second one is, this is probably the third or fourth time I've tried to film this. I don't know what my problem is this morning. I keep knocking into things and dropping things. So if I do that this time, I'm just going to keep going. Just ignore me, okay? It's Sunday morning here. I don't know if I'm not quite awake or what my problem is, but we're going to get started. The first thing I'm going to show you is a few goodies I picked up from Target. You guys may have already seen these, but I thought since I was doing a haul video, I would show you anyway. And... They will probably mostly appeal to those of you who like to file a fax, but here goes. These are some snowflake notepads that I picked up. I got three of them because I think they're adorable. And since winter lasts so long here in Alaska, I think I'll be able to use them for quite a while. I picked up two sets of these page flags. They're kind of gray and crafty colored. Oh, they were pretty cute. And three sets of these to-do notepads which I love. I'm already using one. I am keeping some of these in my file of facts that goes with me all over the place. And then the find that I was happiest about getting were these stick, um, page flags, these little sticky page flags, because they're absolutely adorable and I had been seeing them in everybody's video and Instagram pictures and couldn't find them. And then lastly I got a couple of these notepads. I'm already using one of them. They're a great size for to-do lists, grocery shopping lists, all sorts of things like that. So I pick those up. So that's what I had from Target. Here in town, I picked up a couple things at Joann's. The first one, the one that I was really looking for, was this um, elastic cord in these different colors. I'm getting ready to change up the cording on my Ray Dory, that Fomadori I showed you guys several videos back and I wanted to have some color options in case I just, you know, periodically want to change it. So I got that. And then to go with this from Michaels, I picked up this set of charms because I really like this key charm. I mean, I like them all, but the key charm was the one I got it for. Because again, I think I'm going to put it on the binding, um, or the cord, sorry, for my Ray Dory. So it'll have a really cute little charm dangling down. So I got those two things. And then I also picked up... Let's see, at Michael's, I got these foam dots. These are just Studio G. I'm getting a little low, and these were a dollar or a dollar fifty, and I was there, so I just figured I'd give them a try. No big deal if they don't work out that well. And then at Joann's, I picked up this little storage case, and you're going to see why here in just a second. Um, it's got lots of little spots in it and is super cute. So then I did some online purchases. The first one was a small order to my creative time and I have ordered from them before I really love their stamps and dies and she has really good prices and does um, frequent sales so subscribe to her blog so you get that information if you're interested and then there I picked up a few dies fun size scallop stitch bow die and that's gonna be down there in that corner how it ends up looking I think it's absolutely adorable and there's the dies. There are two or three more sizes of this particular die, but I don't like huge embellishments on my cards, so I thought this would be the perfect size. Then I picked up this stitched circle tab die. Really cute. There is a stamp set that goes with the, this. It's little circles. Uh, it just happened to be out when I was ordering, so we're going to have to go back and pick that up the next time she has a sale, but I think that's there's a lot of things that you could put here, sentiments and everything, so that's a good one to have. And then again, I picked up another good one, I think anyway, is the Stitched Square Speech Bubbles. I think that there's going to be all sorts of use for that. Um, you know, if you like to color in your stamps, you have different, oh, I don't know, CC Designs or Crafting Kimmies or the Greeting Farm stamps, this would be a great place to put the sentiments. Or you could make a card just out of these, so I think it'll be pretty versatile. And then she had this really adorable sentiment that I loved. You're beautiful inside and out, shine bright and dream big. So I got that little stamp set. So that's what I picked up from my creative time. And then I 
ordered from, I believe I follow this person on Instagram, and that's how I found it. I'm just going to try and show you her name because I don't have a card for her. Let's see. On the envelope. It's, hopefully you can see that, Share Bear Crafts. And I just picked up a few things there, but you'll be able to see what I need that little container for. I have been watching a ton of videos, and I have finally gotten roped into getting some sequins. I had been resisting the urge, but I finally decided with some of these sales I would pick a few up. So I got this set from Teresa Collins. There's a black, kind of a nice creamy yellow, um, a clear or see-through set, and then these are actually gold. So I got those. And then she also had, and this is from, I believe, the memorabilia line. She also had You Are My Happy sequins in kind of a darker pink. And this is actually um, a silver, a white, and then a pastel pink. Oops, stuck in there. And then she had this little mix set from Studio Calico of stars and dots, which I thought was really adorable. So I got that. And then the last thing I picked up from her were these transparent die cuts from Studio Calico. Um, I think they're all adorable, but I was thinking that there's probably several of them that I can use for um, Valentine's Day cards, which I I know it's not even Christmas yet, but I am thinking about Valentine's Day. So that's what I got there. And then I picked up some more sequins from this store, Neat and Tangled. And I'm not sure where I found this store. I think I saw this on someone's video, but I can't quite remember. And the card, it was really cute. This card came in this little envelope with a little bit of twine as a little thank you gift, which I thought was really cute. So there's that. And I mainly, well, she does have stamps and I think a few other goodies, but I was looking there because of the sequins. And I found these kind of really pretty pearly, pearly looking white ones. And then some kind of cream looking ones. Little silver ones some green and some pink and I just wanted to show you guys in comparison to some of these Teresa Collins ones in case anybody is interested you can see that she has different sizes here but if you compare them to these look at how huge they are so I think it'll be kind of fun to have some variety so that's what I picked up at Neat and Tangled and lastly I believe I have this little order from Marker Pop. Okay. They happen to have several little stamp sets that I had been looking for. And it was like one store would have a couple of them, another store would have a couple of them, but nobody had them all together. And I wasn't even really planning on buying them, but it just seemed like it was um, meant to be because I found them all at the same store and they were all on sale. So the first set I got is this Lawn Fawn set, Winter in the Park. And it has, you know, just a lot of different little things that you can build on here. The snow, these little things that you can loop the um, lights together with, bows and all that good stuff. But I also thought it would be really cute to do other seasonal cards. I mean, I could not use the snow or the sentiments and put little leaf stamps around it, flowers, any number of things. And I thought it would just be really adorable. So I figured I could get some good use out of that. I try not to buy too many stamps that are really specific. I mean, you can't avoid getting some, but I, I do try. Then I picked up this little set because I think it's adorable. Seasons Tweetings. I have been wanting it forever. It's absolutely... I just, it's so cute. And then I got the matching dies, which I don't always do, but they were pretty inexpensive, so I picked those up. And then there was this little stamp set, Be Mine. Look at how cute that is. And again, thinking Valentine's Day. And lastly, I could not resist this CC Designs stamp. I think she's new because I haven't seen her before, but I have purposely not been trying to follow their new releases. And she is called Winter Kisses. And if you can see her little face, she's got her hands up to her face and she's blowing a kiss. Is that not adorable? And I love the pigtails. So couldn't resist her. And I love that she's already cut out because I hate cutting out those stamps. Those are my goodies from Marker Pop. So I think that's everything. I do have a couple other orders coming in 
Um, as soon as I get both of them, I will do another haul video and share with you. I will link all of the places that are online down below in case you're interested in checking them out. And if you have any questions, leave that down below. I can't remember if I already said that. I'm sorry, guys. Like I said, it's Sunday. I might, must not be awake yet. Anyhow, as always, guys, I hope you're having a great day wherever you're at. And thanks for watching. Bye, everybody.